South African blood donors, those who save lives. Iron is here thanks to iron tablets provided by the SANDS. Trusted to restore the iron we lose from donating blood. And we're all here to iron things out about the SANDS issued iron tablets, how they work and why it's important for you to use them as a blood donor. Hello again and welcome back to it. I'm Dr. Musam Tombene and we're here to iron things out. Not that iron, but a different kind of iron. Sitting here with the panel that you saw last time and we're talking all things iron. What happens after you donate the blood? So here you are, you've donated blood. What happens next? When you were donating blood, Randy, what were you told by the nurses or the people that were there taking the blood on the day? I was told to take it easy mm. and don't do a lot of work because it affected me a lot to win. Right, like so was... let's pause there. We're going to come back for you to finish the rest of the things that you were told. Thank you. Why is it important, Mel, for that you don't do a lot of strenuous activity after you've donated blood? Why do you think? Ah, because we have established that in pulling the blood out of your body, you're reducing the volume. Mm -hmm. And so your body needs to acclimatize or adjust to there being less blood circulating through your system. Five stars. There we go. Big round of applause there. Yes. A, a winner. A winner. Yeah. Okay, let, let's hear the question. So, we may have already covered this, but I just want to find out how are your iron stores affected when you donate blood? Right, so there's a difference between iron stores and there's iron in your body, right? So, here you are, you take the supplemental um, iron that you're taking, whether you're taking it as pool or you're like diet. Sitting there, you're just eating the iron and green leafy vegetables and steaks on a Thursday, whatever it might be for you, right? It comes into your body, has to get absorbed. You take that iron in and it needs to get stored. So this is where very big words like transferrin, and ferritin, okay. and hemoglobin and things like that come in. But the big gist of it is that ferritin is the storage of iron. That's the main component in how it's stored. That would be ferritin. And the iron that you get in the blood, that's in the blood cells and things like that, that's where you find the iron in the form of like hemoglobin and things such as that, right? So in the red blood cells and that sort of stuff. So those are the two sort of areas that you get. There's a storage component and there's like an everyday use one where red blood cells carry it around after carrying oxygen and so on and so forth. So those are the big things that we store. Why is the age range, as someone who is outside of that age range, why is that age barely, range so specific barely, between 16 and 45? Thank you, I love you. <laughs> so, because people between the age of 16 and 45 generally don't have any medical condition. Unless there's something outright that you know about, because I mean, maybe you went to a clinic once, you sat there, you felt a fever, they check your blood pressure, they find it to be high, then they start treating you. People in those age groups generally don't have anything. You're just like living your life and that's that. So we give you the supplemental iron to say, okay, here's the SANBS sort of supplied iron that you're going to take, because we don't anticipate you having any medical problem associated. But you would tell us in that questionnaire that you fill in at the beginning, if you do have anything, that you know you are currently taking medication for anything beyond those ranges so above 45 people then tend to have a lot more comorbidities and things like that and there may be a clash with regards to that medication that you'll be given and what you are currently on so there not that you shouldn't have iron yeah. some people are still having heavy menses people have you know all those conditions where they're losing blood and all of that you find that the issue there is you just want the doctor to prescribe it so that there's no clashes that exist but also you're also prescribing things that will help out so you'll be sitting there supplying you know the iron but you're also going to say let's add a supplement so that you can help absorbing it at the same time versus someone younger not necessarily would have been given those additional supplements so it's that balance that has to be played yes dr m can i call you dr m whatever you want all right so uh, i just want to we're speaking about iron a lot but i just want to sort of understand why it's important, right? And I'm going to walk you guys through a story okay. of my own experience. So I was writing my final matric exams, and well, prelims and then finals. And I had, um, I had internal bleeding in my stomach. I had stomach issues. And I started feeling extremely tired, right? I was falling asleep a lot and all of that. And it came to one of my first exams and I fell asleep at the beginning of the first exam. I couldn't understand why I was so exhausted because I mean, I was sleeping on time, I'd studied and everything, and I thought, okay, well, I'm writing my exams. There's always issues when you gotta write those exams. And, um, but it, it got to a point where I started fainting. And so I finally went to the doctor and they, they tested me for my iron levels and she called me back, I think a day or two later, and she said, Larai, you've got iron deficiency anemia, guys, I kid you not, I was crying. I was like, okay, how much time do I have? Yeah. <laughs> how much time do I have left? And I think it's very important for us to understand that it's not a death sentence and you can always replenish 
your iron levels through taking the supplements and through eating the right food. So I had to change my entire diet, but had I not caught the symptoms that I was experiencing, it probably would have gotten worse. So can we please break down the symptoms of iron deficiency and sort of how do we even not reach to the point where we are fainting in the middle of our exams? Yeah, so that's, I mean, perfect story, exactly how it happened. A lot of people just find themselves thinking, I'm just lazy, you know, I'm not, I don't have a list to go to work anymore. I'm so tired at the end of the day, fatigue, and those are the things that you look after. Your body does not have enough soldiers to carry the oxygen and the necessary things around the body. That's why you feel so tired. That's why you feel so weak. And those are the things that you need to look out for. The problem with it though is that it doesn't happen abruptly. So for instance, if you got into a car accident and lost blood and you start failing, it's pretty obvious because we just saw the blood leaving your body. The problem with people that have iron deficiency anemias and things like that is that it's such a slow process because of this internal bleeding or it's menses or whatever it might be, that continual slow bleeding makes you think there's something wrong with me. It's like, a, oh, I'm just lazy, I'm tired. And exactly. All those sort of things when in actual fact, there's obviously something there behind it. But I think that's how we wrap it up. Perfect case study as to how it happens in our discussion around iron and how we can iron things out and of course replenish our stores. SANDS does offer all the people between the ages of 16 and 45 the ability to get medication and that is their iron supplementation so they can take that and replenish their stores and make sure that they don't find themselves in a situation where they're iron deficient and can no longer donate blood. That's it from us this week. I guess we will see you next time from the panel and I remember to iron. We hope we've answered your questions about blood donation. Otherwise, ask away in the comment section. Till next time, donate to save lives and iron things out with our iron tablets to restore the iron lost from donating blood. For more information, visit www.sanbs.org.za.